This is the Bohm's Electric Ape Delay, and this is the part two of the boot camp, like learning how the Ape Delay functions work and everything. Um, so the other one, I, I the first video, I didn't have an external tap plugged in, so now, now this video is with the external tap plugged in. We'll kind of go through the functions. And like I said before, you need to plug in the external tap before you power on the pedal because when it powers up is when it uh, checks on if it has an external tap uh, plugged into it. And so the way you would know that it understands that is this light will light up here, the tap scale LED will light up if it's if there is an external tap plugged in. If there isn't, this will stay dark and never turn on. So, But now, what this actually indicates is that this is no longer a tap, this is the tap over here. So now we tap on the external tap and we have so we can click in whatever we want here but now what this means is when the light is on we are on dotted eight notes and when the lights off we're on quarters so uh, so right now we have so now it's clicking back at the time that I that I punched in but now if we click over here So, uh, so that's the indicator for whether you're in dotted eights like right now or now I'm in quarter notes and then the time the time will keep blinking to whatever you tapped in so this will keep the the uh, the time of the tapping and stuff so and then this is just the bypass this just still switches between uh, level one and level two level one and level two knobs so you can set those up now the other added functions with the external tap is now we can have modulation on there and then if we hold this down for more than 700 milliseconds you see that the now there's now there's no modulation and then if you hold it down again the light turns on and there's modulation that'll toggle between the modulation if you hold down the tap scale switch for more than 700 milliseconds now if you just click it once of course it goes to dotted eights click it again and it goes to quarters but you have to hold it down until the light turns off and then hold it down again until the light turns on now the other function in here is 6-8 mode which is if you tap it twice within 700 milliseconds now this uh, tap scale light switch it goes on and off within the time mode and so you can now what you can do is you can tap in a 6 8 going 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can go 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we have a 6 8 What that does is it puts a it puts like a dotted eight feel on each of the six eight uh, notes in there and uh, the reason I did this is because the only other way to make this function to actually tap in a function like this so we tap it again twice and it'll pop out so if we tap it twice we'll pop into six eight right here and then if I tap it twice again I pop out of six eight into dotted eighth notes right there and then there would be quarters so um the only other way that you could do that function is so we are in dotted eights and what you would have to do is on a six eight you'd have to go you'd have to tap on one two three four five six to get the same kind of feel which just doesn't feel right if somebody's clicking six eight going one two three four five six and you have to go one two three four five six to actually get the same kind of feel
get the same kind of sound, but it's not following the time. And then tapping in isn't that fun. Where if you did this and you went into 6 8 mode, you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then get into. So, so that makes it a lot easier and you can keep the feel and all that kind of stuff and and it's not like a brain tease or anything like that just trying to tap in 6 8 so that's the other function that you have and again it's you tap it twice within 700 milliseconds and then you tap it twice again to hop out of 6 8 and then to be it you'll be in the normal dotted eighth notes and then you can click the quarters so so there we go with that. Um, and then like I said before, you hold it down until the modulation turn light turns off and then the modulation is off. And then if you hold it down again, then the modulation is off. Another on. function we have is kind of like we had on the tap switch. Now we have the tap switch over here where you can set your time to super fast. So let's say we set it like that. And then I'm in like doing stuff. I'm doing this and then we're playing the song so I'm going to turn up the repeat so we can kind of hear and then if I hold it down for more than a second and let go I'm in the I'm in the it'll go to the time of wherever the manual time knob is so whether you set that super slow or super fast and since there's no way to click this in I thought it would be kind of a cool little thing to play with and then you of course you can set the level a lot lower and then kind of have like a, and turn the modulation off maybe, and have Let's see if we did super fat and then we click in and then we got now we're in fast again. There's all the functions of the ape delay and all the things you can do with an external tap plugged in. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for checking this out and I hope you have fun and kind of know a little bit more of what's going on with the ape delay.